it's here. As you guys can tell, it's 3.30 in the morning. I'm gonna take you guys through my day today. So not extra lean, just lean. And then six and a half ounces of wild caught sockeye salmon canned. This is gonna be my pre-workout meal. So this is probably two hours or so before I go and train. We're gonna be hitting legs today. So I wanted to make sure that I get a decent amount of calories. And I think this is close to 800 calorie mark. Honestly, I hate filming while I'm eating. I, I just can't, I can't do it. It feels weird, it feels awkward. And I enjoy just eating my food. So this is what we got planned for today. I think I'm probably gonna do a beef ribeye later. I thawed these out last night. Normally when I'm up in the morning, I'll do like liver or some sort of organ meat as well because I find that that helps with a little bit of that stimulatory effect that gets me going at the beginning of the day. Probably some salmon as well in the morning. I find that if I get those electrolytes in right at the beginning of the day, it sets me on the right track. When it comes to my morning supplements, I keep things fairly simple. I don't really have a lot of supplements that I need to take since there are a lot of micronutrients already in my diet with a lot of grass-fed meats and stuff. This morning, since I'm not having liver, I, I'm gonna throw in some zinc, some copper, and some selenium, vitamin D, 5,000 IU of that. That definitely does have an effect on my mood, my energy, all that different stuff. It's always a tedious process. You guys are always getting mad at me for not seasoning my foods and stuff, but to be honest, I'm just, I couldn't, I couldn't be asked. I couldn't be fussed about adding in different seasonings and stuff. Even if I go into my fridge, most of the seasonings that I have here are literally just from my dad. Okay, so meal number one is done and dusted. I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time editing right now, probably check in on some of the stuff with regards to the supplement company, spend the next hour or so. I did take half a scoop of pre-workout. I think I'm fine, I'm still sub 500 milligrams every single day, don't worry guys. I'm not like Tyler, and I don't say that life starts at one gram of caffeine. No, it's only an addiction if you admit it is. Oh, so that's how it works. It may honestly just be me. There's something about being up before anyone else is that gives you a chance to breathe and think and kind of get away from constantly being in that go, go, go. So I think that's why, I think that's why I enjoy the morning so much. I think I also just saw a UFO in the sky. So Joe Rogan come at me. Fuck this, I'm going back home, it's cold. It is leg day, my dudes. I'm gonna take my pants off at the gym. Whoa! Look, you see that? You see that? Yeah. It just went down five kilometers in a span of like 20 seconds. It's just like stop signs, though. It's just suggestions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sneezing got snot at myself. <laughs> That's the pre-workout. Feel good, sir. You got that good, good? Cause it's like day. You got a little bit of, little bit extra. People love the sour peach drinks flavor. So you're thinking something candy like maybe a blue raspberry, maybe a sour watermelon for those. Would you guys want to see like a BCAA electrolyte formula, or would you want to see more like a gamer nootropic focus formula where you can use it and just take it throughout your day and focus stuff? Let me know in the comments. Okay, we made it to the gym officially. Pump pre-workout, the best time of the day. It's about 7:30, so we're gonna be eating legs today. It's three of us training. 
scoop. I've been feeling good recently with the extra calories. My pumps have been pretty insane and I don't feel like I've put on a lot of body fat. So Brayden is trying to get the pump. Time to get poofed. Look at this. See this? Cardillo made this for Tristan. I know. It seems a little bit egotistical yeah. to, to wear myself while I'm lifting, but... It's a little too flattering for him. Yeah. It's a little bit too anime-like. Tristan's like, that is what I look like, though. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, make sure, make sure there's his clothes that put in front of you. Watch out. Big man coming through. Okay, let's start with the squat. Sure. when you're doing front squat, you're gonna slip out. My biggest fear is like like onto your bicep and everything, right? Yeah. If he dies, he dies. Brayden has absolute tree trunks for like, just not even fair. Okay, so like when you go into a normal gym, right? And there's a lot of white people there, you, you feel good about your legs because you're like, we're half Asian, so we have big legs, right? But then when you come here, where the, the whole gym is Asian, and you're only half bred, that, like, it makes you feel a little uncomfortable because how big their legs are. I don't, I don't feel good about myself, right? <laughs> <laughs> I always go cross side at the end of my set. If you're not going cross side, I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Every one of your squats is like, you know that photo of the Asian kid squatting? Fuck, we're not weak. Good God, five pounds. What to do, dumbbells? Is that a tricep or a croissant, bro? Your hamstring developments come up so much. It's actually insane. Thanks, man. <laughs> well, you see, I, um, uh, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We like to live on the edge. Sure, I literally thought I was gonna shit my pants on the last round. <laughs> Dude, you did. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Park. Yep.
That guy just must have a massive c huh? Oh, it's not that lifted. So. <laughs> oh, that, when I start my ranch in Alberta, we can make chimera, chimera beef. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a good idea. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Plant beast. Plant beast. <laughs> It's like my section. This is basically the only section that I go in. We're gonna clear them out. Whenever I can, I get as much as I can. So this is all like the heritage cattle beef, grass-fed beef. This is pretty much all I eat. So we're gonna clear them out. And then maybe some of the ribeyes. Should I get some ribeye? Man, this is making me so hungry. I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna get anything else because I already have the beef heart at home. Daniel's face, you should have seen his eyes when he said when I said beef heart. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Yeah, this so. is pretty much the only store I go to because they only, they're the only store that carries this sort of beef and stuff. Do you like get familiar with people working here? Do they ever like ask you like... I always feel super awkward because I, I, I go to the checkout and I feel like the person in front of me is going to judge me and be like, why do you just have like 20 packs of beef? Especially <laughs> if the person in the front's like a vegan or something. <laughs> Give me this like death stare. Okay, you eat enough meat for like eight vegans. This is good as well, bone marrow. Sometimes I'll do this. That's a lot of meat. It looks vegan, bro. <laughs> it's black, is this green? It's yeah. not, it's grass fed. Oh. <laughs> grass fed beef. <laughs> Every time I see something that's like too green, I'm like, it must be <laughs> vegan. I think this is it. You just got a bunch of beef. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I used to be addicted to. Zevia? They, they came up with a new flavor right when I quit drinking these so now i don't have these because yeah i, I, I actually tried that one i got a free sample in that what one. the creamy root beer one yeah right it's actually really good i know whenever you're in los angeles they have all the other flavors too you get like the mountains yeah the, uh, i know and they're caffeinated some of them oh my gosh dude. they're so good Bro, it's actually insane how much keto shit there is now it's like ridiculous half of the shit's not even good for you you should have a pizza night half of the shit's like 600 calories and then everybody just justifies it because they're like it's keto dude i'm literally just i only eat meat now so we can tell dude what the hell is crisp crispy rice chocolate i don't know that seems a little bit weird this is like this is like when all the asian stuff was going on and they were trying to appeal to the asian market and they're like they're like crispy rice throw it in chocolate there you go <laughs> creamy milk it just sounds like they're all trying to describe skin colors and stuff. <laughs> At some of the other stores, they have like ground lamb, so usually I'll get ground lamb or ground veal sometimes, but it's all meat, so. There's a lot less than I expected. You guys are always asking, so this is, what, 14, 14 packs? So each of these is 400 grams, that's about eight ounces or just under eight ounces and stuff. So eight times 16 is what, Daniel? Uh, 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 I don't know. Okay, well, we don't have the math, but <laughs> the grocery bill, 138.46. Not that bad, actually. Yeah. This will last me for a little bit too, so. Realistically, I spend the majority of my time just wandering around, getting my steps in in different places. This is just a park. I'm somehow gonna find a way to take my pants off in this video. <laughs> Things you do for a goddamn Instagram. <laughs> so, we got the shot. Let's just go. 